Welcome to another edition of Final Fantasy XVI. This time, we're headed back to Coligan and doing a pub quest here. This is our party. This is our setup. Thanks for liking and subscribing. It helps you. It helps me. Let's go. As a reminder, Moogle Charm is on because random encounters are something I don't want to have to face right now. We did the Restful Sleep quest in the World of Balance, and now we're doing it in the World of Ruin. Alright, there's a tomb west of this... Oh, there's a tomb west of this village! Can you go all the way inside and play this music box? After the world collapsed, many monsters appeared in the graveyard. I want to help calm the souls that rest there. You know, it would have been a lot faster if we just got this the first time. Oh well. It's dangerous at that tomb now. Do be careful making your way to its depths. Let's try playing this music box. <sighs> Alright, this ought to give these nasty spirits some comfort. And, well, maybe also you, Daryl. <sighs> Alright, we're done here. Let's go back to Colingen. Thank you for playing that music box. It leaves the spirits of the dead. Please take this small token of our thanks. Well, I'm glad we had the Moogle charm because it got us an easy five elixirs. Well, let's do some more world puppet quests because they just seem to be so very profitable. Number few, we did all the pub quests. That's the old man's house. We have achievements. Yes, and also since last I showed things, um, all characters in this group now have their stuff grounded or farmed up to 500 uses, or in, the, in this, in, or otherwise just matched because they know all their own stuff. Or in the case of Shadow. He has 250 Twin Fang Punks, so there we go. One more time. Is apparently this... Uh, Apparently, getting the airship, the Falcon, gets us some new quest access. Oh, thank you so much for your help! Remember, the supplies are going to Moglitz! Hey, does that airship belong to you guys? Is there any way I could join your crew? Oh, on the airship? I'm tired of just dancing at bars. Flying in the sky seems like a much better life, from my perspective at least. Hmm. Honest? Really? Thank you. I know that I'll have to earn my keep, but don't worry, I'll pull my weight. Maybe yours too, sugar. <laughs>
Well, that was probably the easiest quest yet in this edition. Talk to... Uh, talk to someone at a bar and just say yes. Yep, that's what I thought. Dressing room. It's good to change your clothes regularly and try new outfits when you got a chance. Here you can change everyone's outfits, but there are a few things to look out for. The new outfits only work in movement and in battle. They don't work in shops, safe stream, the Coliseum, etc. We don't guarantee them to work properly during storyline story events. Because, you know, this stuff is still in testing and we're talking with the developers here. So please use them with care. Moreover, changing your outfits also changes your stats. Some of your stats will, will increase or decrease based on what you're wearing. So, check the menu after you try on a new outfit. Or, you know, check the instruction manual! You know, I wish I would have known it would have been this easy to access the costume change area. Because I thought this was only available around the end of the game. Oh well. Yes, that was an oops, but oh well. So let's go find Cyan. Oh, here's a, here, here's a saying. <sighs> Believe in the dawn, and draw your blade. Yeah, let's do some more pub quests. all the way from Ikea? Thank you very much. A new life. I gotta do my best to, ma to help make the world a safer place for it.
Okay, let's return to Nikea and claim a reward, assuming that we get a reward for this beyond just dialogue. Probably this is better than the Stanley Parables voice announcer for Defense of the Ancients 2 or Dota 2. Did you hear? The Phantom Forest that had been near Doma has moved. Now it's near Miranda. You say that a witch lives in the back of that forest. Could that be true? Yes, it absolutely is. Okay. Yes, where the announcer says, <clears throat> You have apparently rigged the game to farm for dialogue. Alright. What other pub quests can we do for the moment? South Figaro, do you have anything new for us? Head to the underground path behind Duncan's house. Do be careful. Uh, go to the Yellow Globe. The customer who once lives in the East House. I also apologize if for these insignificant or very minor NPCs or characters. I change voices. I wasn't memorizing it for the, I wasn't memorizing what voices I used for them. If you don't like it, I apologize. If you do like it, good. Oh no, dear! My husband's still alive and well. He's off training now to the north of Darshi. It's a yellow globe! But this fish is poisonous. Um, what are you going to use it for? Oh, certainly this fish is too poisonous to eat, so I'll make a drink out of it. Just you watch. Scorch the finch, then put it in some sake, and the resulting drink won't be harmful at all. But Grandpa, weren't you going to quit, quit drinking? <laughs> yes, in a world like this, drinking alcohol doesn't make sense. One day, the world will return to normal. Yeah, I'll bet my mustache on it. When that happens, you should have some sake to celebrate our victory. When that happens, the fish will be ready. Thank you. I pray for the time when I can, I, I can have that good drink with this fish. Oh, yes. I wish I would have gotten this earlier. Hermes sandals provide auto haste in a relic slot. Let's just see what they do, because I'm curious. I saw that. So, it's... Slightly increased speed, plus auto haste. I like, but I brought seals along for mass haste on the party anyway. And let's also... Treat our party like we don't want to be killed by status effects because details. We also could treat the party like we want them to be able to use these things as well.
Well, yes, if, if I ever play through this mod again, I and I get to the World of Ruin, I might just do all the pub quests before getting Terra. And after getting the ocean. I think we did this one alright. I'm pretty sure we did this one already, so I'm just going to affect the ultimate skin. Maybe it's overkill, but maybe it's just the right amount of kill. Whatever, I'm tired of this, let's just move on, we have other stuff to do in this life. Yeah, it's these things again. Yeah, it, it didn't feel like it was worth it, but it's good to know that we can get high ethers that way. Sure, we all recover. And let's check out the other towns to determine what quests they have. It's cosplaying and bars. We've already done that continent. Quickly check on Zozo for anything else. Alright, Google Charm is in place. Nothing here because there's no pub. Miranda. Nothing here because there's no pub. Alright, well, let's check Zen and Albrook.
Oh, you brought that vector fist just as requested. Thank you very much. Talk to the researchers in town. Okay, so let's talk to these... Can't believe there's a special enchanted cat. Oh, I'm doing research on the espers. Apparently there's a special enchanted cavern made by ancient people that they are drawn towards. There was the goddess spell that should give leads to the location of the cave, but I'd like to see it in person. That sounds very much like we're meant to, what we're meant to be doing for that research materials quest. Oh, I found this passage in a thousand-year-old text. The Dragon King Bahamut, whose eight dragon kings serve under him, shall appear before those victorious, asking the mystery of true courage. So, apparently we need to kill some... Okay, all eight dragons, and then... Bahamut will appear, and then maybe we talk to this guy. I'll check on that for a moment. Yes, having checked details, I've discovered that we need to get the goddess's bell and then go from there. So, thank you everyone, good night, and God bless.